Warning, this video is for vent sexing heritage breed chickens only. We do not recommend vent sexing bantam breeds of any kind or silky chickens. Also, vent sexing is only possible for chicks that are 24 hours to 3 days old. If your chicks are older than that, this video will be useless for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm excited to bring you this video. This is our most anticipated video since our YT existence. Now, a lot of you guys have been waiting a couple of years for us to put this video out. Now, for those of you that follow us on a regular know that I said I wasn't going to put out a sexing video for baby chicks. As long as I found a video with good information that was really comprehensible, I wasn't going to bother doing one. However, after a lot of research, I found out there's a lot of bad information and some really bad videos. So if you're one of those channels telling people to hold up baby chicks by their head, let them dangle by their neck just to see if they're male or female, false information, shame on you. Because most people that really know enough about chicks should know that any chick over eight to 10 grams, you're dangling them over their head like that is really bad on the vertebrae and you're jeopardizing the health of the baby chick just to put out some false information. All right, guys, you asked for it. We're giving it to you right now. We've got a lot of information to talk about, and we're going to try to make it in the shortest video we can. Come on, y'all. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. Also, disclaimer, event sexing should be done by trained people. You should leave it to the professionals. Most hatcheries will give you an option when you order baby chicks to vent sex your chicks. It is for a fee, of course, but it's better to let the trained professionals do it. If you want to follow this video, please be careful. Follow the video closely. You don't want to hurt your baby chick. If you guys are researching this topic and you are reading or watching the video and they state that they're going to show you the rooster's penis, by all means, leave in a hurry. They obviously don't know what they're talking about. Male chickens or roosters do not have a penis at all. Female chickens do not have a vagina. Roosters do not have a penis. Female chickens have a cloaca. Roosters have a papilla. So if you hear anything other than those two descriptions, you need to leave because obviously the people you are watching or reading are not experts and have no idea what they're talking about. All right, guys, so here is the chicks in question. These are American breast chickens. I do need to know how many males we got in here, so I'm going to go ahead and vent sex them, and we're going to show you guys how we do it. Hey guys, so there's a certain way that you want to pick your baby chick up when you're vent sexing them. So the first thing you want to do is position your baby chick facing the right. Then you want to take your three fingers and you want to place it over the back of your baby chick. You want to place the pinky up under the chin just like you see here. Then you want to take your thumb, place it under the baby chick's belly, pick it up just like that. Okay, now as you can see, the baby chick is comfortable, he's not hurt. What we're going to do is, we're not going to hold this chick upside down completely like this, not good on them. What we're going to do is, we're going to hold the vent or the anus of the chicken in between our thumb and our forefinger, just like you see here. You want to make sure that with your pinky, you're not squeezing or choking out the baby chick. Just be real gentle. The only pressure that you want to use is your index finger needs to go on the tail feathers and rake over the vent just like you see me doing here and you're not going to push in you're only going to be lifting up once you do that cap off the tail feathers take your thumb and push slightly in and pull down now we're going to go ahead since i'm doing this one-handed and we're going to give you guys the best close-up we can of what these baby chicks look like and we're also going to use an arrow and show you exactly the pieces that you need to be looking for when it comes to sexing baby chicks because as you can see it's virtually impossible to get a good video of vent sexing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the technique to expose the area and then show you some really high definition or ultra high definition pictures on what you need to be looking for so again we're going to take the index finger rake across the vent pull those feathers up slightly take our thumb push in and down at the same time and that's how you expose the vent for the sex now you're also going to realize that every time that you try to do this nine times out of ten you're going to get some excrement that is perfectly normal it's okay um, actually you need to expect a little poop if you're not you're probably not doing it right so let's go ahead and show you guys exactly what it is you're looking for once you get this technique right now the first picture we're going to show you is a picture of a male baby chicken vent 
um, I'll go ahead and close up here as you can see now after stretching the vent open the first thing you're going to see is the male chick has a Y shape and after that you will see a pimple protrude I call it a pimple but it's basically just a little bubble you can see that right here so the little guy that we have now is in question is a male so we're going to go ahead and band his leg I'm going to show you a high definition picture or ultra definition picture of a female baby chick now and show you what her vent looks like now here is a picture of a baby female chicken vent and as you can see it is shaped like an eye and with the female chicken inside just at the top you will see another opening just like the main vent here which is the baby chick cloaca so this baby chick in question is a female now i'll go ahead and show you a comparison pic of them side by side now here you have the male and female vent sexing pictures side by side. It should be really easy to tell apart. The female will not have the pimple protrusion. She will actually have another small opening at the top. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, we know for a fact that we have a little boy here. So what we want to do now is band his leg. And we use some micro ties for that. So this is not hard to do. You take your chicken. The ones that we band the males and leave the females unbanded. Now you have to watch these because uh, these chickens will grow really fast, especially these. These little guys here, the females will be laying eggs in four months, so they grow significantly fast. And you have to watch these bands because you will cut circulation off if the chicken gets too big. You just got to watch them and uh, put on a new tie and make it bigger. So this is easy, guys. You just take and wrap this around the chicken's leg. You also need a pair of scissors. Uh, you can go ahead and make you a loop before you get started. You can do that. I just find it's easier to go ahead and wrap it around the chicken's leg. Hold on to the elbow here. Now you don't want to cinch all the way up on the chicken's leg. You want to give some room, but you want to make sure that it's not going to slide on off of the instep. And that should be good right there. Now, now I'm going to do is take some scissors and just cut this off. Okay, so when you're cutting these bands off, it's easy. All you have to do is take your fingers and don't hold on to the chicken's leg, but brace the band itself just like you see here. Take you a pair of scissors. Make sure the scissors are turned away from the toes, feet, and everything else, right? Get your tie all the way towards the back of the scissors and just clip it off and there you go. That's all you need right there. Now, we'll have to take this off and put another one on in just a few weeks, guys. But as you can see, it does not affect how the chicken walks. They also do these at hatchery. Sometimes they'll use bands like rubber bands. I don't really like those at all. I immediately cut those off and add one of these little guys right here. So if you guys don't feel comfortable using the band method, or you do, but you're not going to be around in time enough to check them before it may injure the baby chick's leg, it's perfectly fine. You can also buy some marking paint or dye offline. And if you want to be truthful, you could probably just use some food coloring like a few other hatcheries and mark the wing or the tail feathers of the baby chick. That way you can indicate the male from female and not really compromise any injury. Now, if you guys like this video and you've learned something from it, then you're going to love my new book, The Poultry Scrolls. The Poultry Scrolls is a book aimed for anybody that owns chickens and it'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to raise chickens from baby chicks all the way up to adult chickens. It also addresses all housing, feather feet, and comb maintenance, and all kind of homeopathic and apothecary cures on everything that ails chickens, including the most common sicknesses and injuries. So if you guys want to check that out, we thank you very much. The link is in the description below.